Hello everyone, it's Butter Bob and I'm out here in the cornfield and let me tell you something, it's hot here in Tennessee today. You know, have you ever wondered why junk food is so cheap and good food like, say, farm-raised eggs or organic grass-fed meat or fruits and vegetables are so expensive, but junk food made out of corn and wheat it's so cheap? Well, I'll tell you why. You know, from 1995 until 2012, the federal government of the United States spent $253 billion in subsidies for crops like these, this corn right here. And you know what's make you mad? 75% of that money went to less than 4% of the farmers in this country. In other words, big business getting big tax dollar subsidies to produce food that is killing us. Making it easier and cheaper to buy a snack cake or a, some kind of junk food chip than it is for working people to buy fruits and vegetables and good grass-fed meats, full-fat cheese, and all the other things that would be really good for them, but they can't afford it because this is taking over. In other words, when they supplement the raising of these crops, it brings the price down. And you know, everything that you can imagine is made out of this stuff. That's why when you go to the store, you'll see it. Corn is in everything, or things made out of corn, like high fructose corn syrup. It's in everything, a sweetener made with subsidized corn. Wheat's in everything, every junk food that you can imagine. But cotton, believe me, cottonseed oil. It's in everything. You can see it all over in all kinds of products. Soybean oil in everything. Corn oil in everything. You see, why are these products so cheap? I'll tell you why. Because we're paid for them twice. We paid for them out of the subsidies and we're paying again at the store. And yeah, it's cheap. But folks, no matter whether you're Democrat, Republican, independent, conservative, or liberal, our politicians, regardless, have sold us out. They sold us out to the highest bidder. They sold us out to big food. And you know what? Big food, like Coke and Pepsi, some of these big producers of junk food, they actually sponsor nutrition conferences. They, they, there's money going into these things. There's money going into the research places that, that study food. And believe me, they're going to come out with the outcome they want. Folks, we have seen our own self. If you've been on this diet for very long, you've seen that all the advice they've given us is wrong. This is a problem. And you know what? We... None of us, at least probably no one that's in my group that's watching this video, has any power to do very much about this. Believe me, we don't. But, folks, we can't buy a politician. But I'll tell you what we can do. We can use the power of our own billfold, our own pocketbook, to stop buying this stuff. And when we stop buying it by the million. Believe me, they're going to take notice. They're going to take notice in the halls of Congress. They're going to take notice in the boardrooms of America that we're fed up and we're on to them. We're on to their little game. Guys, we have to take our health back into our own hands. When we share our story on, on social media, how we're getting better, we're defeating these people. When we stop buying their products, we're defeating these people. When we spread the word, when we get off of uh, our 
drugs that we have to be on supposedly to get better and we're able to get well and we're off of those drugs we're spreading the word and we're putting the fear into the people who have made us sick and at the same time took our money bought our politicians bought the research organizations to skew science their own way you know what Thank goodness for the internet because we together are changing not just our health but our very culture. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.